everyone in this video I would like to show you how to create object animation you can see that uh, basics object animation in Naviswa currently I'm using Autodex Naviswa Manage 2016 okay here we have a road which is created in Revit and export to Naviswa then another one truck which is downloaded from the SketchUp market uh, get the SketchUp uh, warehouse okay then I import it to the Naviswak okay now we start to create the animation object animation to do that we need to open the animator tools which is located at the ribbon and the home tab then under tools panel you can see this animator Okay, now the good way to use is that our view should be autographic. If your view is in perspective view, you better change to autographic. Okay, now we use front elevation to start object to be moved. Okay. Okay, now here, first of all, we have to create the scene. Okay, at scene. Give name called maybe card movie, right? So we have a scenes. So under scenes, we have to create the animation. So select the object that you want to animate. Then come to the scenes. So you select it. Then right click and add animation set from current selection. Right. Oops. Not coming. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we give a name for uh, a truck okay truck another right so this is the timeline so we have to select truck first then when you select your object also in selection mode then we start to use one of the tools called capture keynote keyframes this is the first keyframe that we capture this is a point right so the next thing is we will give in uh, we will give a uh, maybe 10 seconds right will be we will have another keyframe over here so our car we have to so at this point what we need to do is we have to use this translate from the translate enemy set right this is called move line then we start to move then we have to capture the another keyframe again right so when we play back we can have it car is moving right okay from 10 seconds to 20 seconds our car from lower level of the road to the higher level of the road so that we have to create another 20 second keyframe then this car we have to move right then we have to move car on to the road to be make sure that your car should be on the road right then we have to create another keyframe right then later on this car will be going so in this point we have to go to play view right then we have to move another 10 seconds so that it's going to be 30 seconds right this car will be at the turning point then snap right then next thing is okay we'll be using this cup to be five seconds so that's uh, 35 seconds and this car to be here and we have to rotate it uh, okay okay come to this point when you rotate right you have to use your mouse to the center of the pivot so when hand hand icon is came out right you have to press le left click and move to the this uh, gizmo move to the center of the car roughly is fine then you have to rotate it the value you have to key it over here if you when it right then uh, move again create and 
another (uh) like that capture another key frame again right okay so now last check it again play car will be coming right but this frame it will not come up nicely just let it be right car will be just flying flying up okay with this portion and this red this turning portion we will touch up later on car will be coming from this point okay car will be turned like that no problem let it go right then the last part will be another maybe 5 seconds 40 seconds then we have to move this car to the end of the road then capture the another keyframe again okay this is the basics part that we we do how to how to animate the object so now come back to this point right then come to the front view so in this point to this point we have to uh, play a little bit so zoom in so from this point what we need to do is we have to start to create another uh, frame called 10 to 20 right so we call it uh, we create another 90 second frame okay 90 second frame is there or about uh, 18 right then uh, how about 17 okay in this 17 we will create the another keyframe again first right let it be at this point what we need to do is we have to rotate our truck uh, vertically so rotate choose the rotate animation set right so, okay so before we rotate sorry I have to use move rotate first then we have to bring down our last railway to be touched with the road right so push it down a bit Okay, then rotate. When you click rotate animation set, then this uh, rotation gizmo will be came out. So what we need to do is our cursor to be come to the center of the uh, gizmo. When hand shape is come out, right, press and drag to the bottom of the last rear wheel, right? Then we have to rotate it. This value should be 5.18, 5.13. Can see that? Mm. Okay. So we have to touch up a bit, zoom in, then go back again. Right, then rotate a little bit. No. Okay. Okay. Then we already uh, captured the keyframe, right? I have to capture again to override the previous position. So we got this position, right? Then second thing is 17. So how about the uh, how about the 13 frame? I think the frame is there, right? 13 frame also same thing. What we need to do is uh, capture first, right? Then later on we have to use move to bring down our car. Make sure that your rear wheel should be touched with the road. base okay no problem in 3d not really uh, appear obviously so move it there right then second thing is rotate so press the gizmo and move to the bottom of the rear wheel right then we have to rotate again okay then snap again to override the previous keyframe right so 13 is 17 right then now we play it again this car will be coming smoothly okay then okay looks good but here not really that good right 
so we have to capture another maybe 18 or 19 seconds keyframe again and when we come back to this uh, 10 second keyframe then we play it a bit 10 to 13 is that smooth or not if it is smooth then we don't need to create the another intermediate keyframe right so last we see about the uh, 11 keyframe looks good not that bad but if you really need to play it a bit what we need to do is we have to capture it right capture this 11 keyframe then come when we are in the rotation animation set mode right what we need to do is we have to move this case mode to the bottom of the railway we have to rotate a bit to make this much more smoother a little bit tricky but uh, it's okay zoom a little bit so you can have the better control okay then that's great then create the keyframe to override the previous keyframe again so this is the 11 keyframe how about 12 keyframe if you put more today your animation will be more smoother but you you will notice that some wing will not touch the road the one <laughs> I can't uh, I can't do it more than that uh, because of the software limitations how about 12 okay 12 looks fine if you don't want to see this case mode just click again to off it then see it I think it looks fine right so 12 seconds keyframe we don't need to create again right uh, then come to the 13 right so this movement from second 0 to the second 17 it's quite smooth right so come to the 18 let's see 18 Come to 18, right? You see that uh, rare V is a little bit uh, uh, below the road, so we can see 19, 19. So even worse. So with 19, we create this keyframe first, right? Then we have to use rotate again. Sorry, rotate again. So how far is it? Okay, our gizmo is leaving behind so we have to drag in to the front we right zoom it move to here right and we have to rotate a little bit okay not too much okay it's great then override the keyframe again right this is 19 how about 18 come to 18 is weird so move then move it down again right then uh, okay this is 18 right 18 then have to move down a little bit and step again so 18 19 will be okay 18 is a little bit okay but no choice we have to leave it that way 19 20 right so things will go so we see it again from the point right this car will be moving okay just played it car is coming you can zoom in and see it but in 3d right some case we can ignore it so this car will be start going up level road right it looks great it's come to the turning point right look at turning point we pause it a while then come to here this turning point right so now vertically we go up ready now we horizontally rotate this uh, car right so that go to the plan view okay then we only have the five seconds here to here right so what we need to do is we should have the intermediate like uh, 30, 35, right? 35, so we can say uh, 32.5, right? Okay, 32.5. What we need to do is 
we have to move. Then we have to snap again. See it here? Right, then we play it again. This car will be rotating. Right, then tap. So, okay, we have one best way is we have to create another intermediate one in between uh, 30 to 32.5 right so we can make it like uh, 31.25 31.25 so then this is a 30 then 31.25 we snap again make sure you snap again first then 32.5 okay here 33.5 33.75 we have to snap another keyframe again right so we see here 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 right then here so at this point we have to move a little bit and here also we have to move a little bit then Play it again. Then done. So, if you have more detail, then your car driving process will be more smooth. Okay. Now come to the perspective view. We change the perspective view. Then we see how it work. Right. So we play it again starting point then okay to off this case mode right just click that tools and we start to play it again so car will be coming then this car is going up right start turning this point is a little bit not so smooth right and going okay we want to touch up a bit then what we need to do is go to the graph again go to plan again I think this point is a little bit uh, here here yeah right here I think looks okay la, but if you need to touch up more then you have to touch up more unless what you need to do is in AutoCAD you have to to put the the turning position at uh, maybe uh, a one four or one fit you create a shape then you have to put your car to that position then it should be great for your animation so bottom line is that uh, whenever you create the object animation you have to create the starting point then you have to create the ending point in between the segment right then come to the next next uh, next frame like uh, here so you create all those uh, snap point uh, like uh, what a keyframe first later on you have to touch up the those sub keyframe in between the main keyframe that will be uh, much faster for your object animation thank you very much for watching this video see you again